Good morning, folks. It is uh, about half past three in the morning. Um, so very early, but I have a flight coming up and I thought, why not take you with me? Um, I'm still in my hotel in downtown Cluj in Romania. It's the first time that I've been here. It's been a, a, a nice trip so far, but now it's time to head home. And I thought, why not take you at least on the first step of that way uh, with me, which is bringing us to Munich. We'll be flying with Air Dolomiti, but first we need to head to the airport. Airport is basically a big building site at the moment, undergoing substantial refurbishment and expansion. At the time of recording this video in March 2024, the official position of the airport is that the new terminal will be opened in two months' time. Let's be clear, I have no background in construction, but I have eyes and very much doubt that this is a realistic deadline. But we will of course see soon enough. Alright, so luggage drop off, let's have the security. So I managed to get through security and uh, right after that, and I mean literally really right after that, we had uh, passport control and apart from a stern look, <laughs> uh, I managed to get through in one piece. Um, so yeah, now just uh, trying to figure out gate should be B1, so let's see what that looks like. Now, as the airport is still a building site, most flights are handled from a temporary departure hall. And yeah, when I say temporary, I really mean temporary. This is no thrills traveling at its finest. But to be honest, being able to handle four, five, maybe even more flights at the same time from such a temporary departure hall is impressive. As sure, it might be crowded, but it actually doesn't feel disorganized. I have seen other airports with less traffic, much more space and better facilities struggle. And they even have managed to squeeze in some shops to facilitate the basic needs of travelers here. Now today's flight is operated under an Air Dolomiti flight code, but as the airline is part of the Lufthansa group, it does also operate code share with Lufthansa and is largely following the standard procedures of its parent company. This means boarding is for example done in the full Lufthansa usual way, with one group after the other being called off for boarding. Even priority boarding is being observed here, which however falls a bit flat when all passengers anyways end up in the same bus. But off we go on our way to our aircraft for today's flight. Now, as mentioned, Air Dolomiti is part of the Lufthansa group and does mostly operate flights on behalf of Lufthansa, but do also operate routes under their own financial risk. To be honest, Air Dolomiti is my least favorite airline in the Lufthansa group to fly with, but let's see how this flight goes and perhaps if it can change my perception of the airline. Now with that, welcome on board the flight EN8323, going from Cluj to Munich on an Embraer EAJ195. Today's flight time is estimated to be around 1 hour and 35 minutes. The cabin offers fairly wide seats that for sure are comfortable enough for a flight like today's. The seat pitch is excellent. As a point of reference, I'm 182cm tall. You find a small pocket for storage at your seat, but no power or USB sockets are available. There is, however, some form of IFE available when you connect to the onboard Wi-Fi with your own mobile devices. The overheads for your hand luggage aren't the biggest, but sufficient for most carry-ons. So with the details of the cabin in mind, let's head to Munich and once in the air, we can look into what the service on board is all about.
and the air air Dolomites onboard service starts. Once more, this follows broadly the Lufthansa standards, which means a complimentary bottle of water is handed out along with a small cookie. Of course, Air Dolomiti does also have more substantial offerings in form of meals, snacks, hot and cold, alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages and various combo offers also allow you to save a little when purchasing items from the Spazio Italia bar. As this is an early morning flight, I haven't had any breakfast yet and for the sake of the video I would have been tempted to get something to eat but after some time the crew announces that the service unfortunately isn't available on today's flight as the payment system apparently isn't functioning. Unfortunate but not a big catastrophe. Now I mentioned earlier that Air Dolomiti is my least favorite airline within the Lufthansa group to fly with and to be honest today's flight hasn't really been able to change my mind on this topic. This is not due to the onboard service being cut short. This can happen, but is due to the crew performance in general. I have the utmost respect for flight crews. They have a tough job with long working hours, with often at best mediocre pay and have to deal with complaints for which they often have very little, if any, responsibility. So in my flight reviews, I always try to shine the best possible light on the flight crews. The crew on this flight does everything that is required of them in terms of maintaining safety on board, which is their primary purpose after all. And the complimentary service is performed swiftly and without hiccups. And yet, today's crew, but to be fair, this has been my observation with all my previous Air Dolomiti flights as well, never managed to create a welcoming atmosphere on board. Why is it that Air Dolomiti crews always look so incredibly grumpy? almost as if they are ready to pounce on any unsuspecting passenger for the slightest of reasons. In today's aviation, where the onboard product seldom differs very much from airline to airline, the crew performance is often the deciding factor if a flight is enjoyable and or you as a passenger feel welcome on board. And Air Dolomiti flight crews, in my experience, unfortunately always stand out negatively with a bitter or grumpy attitude. That is unfortunate, as otherwise there isn't really much to be complained about when it comes to the flight experience itself. But okay, as the crew is collecting the trash in the cabin, I managed to get something closely resembling a smile out of one of the crew members. I guess that's some kind of success. Ultimately, we land on time in Munich, and the flight itself was uneventful as expected and hoped for. But it did unfortunately fail to change my view on and experience with Air Dolomiti. Better luck next time, I guess. Better luck could also be extended to Munich Airport. While it is my favorite airport to travel from, as it for many years has performed extremely well, giving passengers great experiences when connecting through the airport, it is unfortunately now becoming more frequent that the aircraft arrive at stands where there is no ground staff to handle the aircraft in time. And so we do also on today's flight have to wait in the aircraft for quite some time for stairs and buses to arrive, long after we've reached our final parking position. So, I have re-entered the Schengen area, gone through passport control um, and will now slowly make my way towards my next flight. But this trip report ends here. 
what are your thoughts on Air to Meteor? Have you ever flown with them? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you like this type of content and would like to see more of it here in the future, then be sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for joining me here on this trip today and see you in another one. Thank you.